let's go through the slides and explain um, some of these things, okay? Uh, okay, forget about this guy, okay? Right, introduction to online channels for marketing and social media platforms for MLM. Wow, that's a mouthful, right? Wow, so many words there, forget it. Okay, next. Marketing has gone online, digital, and social. It's no more only offline. I'm saying like you, you can combine both. Sometimes after you're chatting, if you target Malaysian, you can chatting, chatting. Then after they say, oh yeah, yeah, now I trust you. Can we come out and then I sign the papers? You still need to do offline, right? But you are going in to sign up, you know, not going in to prospect, no. Better not, better not. Yes. Okay? Yes. Uh, okay. But I don't do this. You know why? Because uh, my style has always been online, everything online, so that I don't have to wear suspenders. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. You guys, you guys heard that? Suspenders. Never mind, it's okay. La. You didn't get the joke, yeah. never mind. Okay. Some of you may be uh, tired of my lousy jokes already. If social media is divided into four categories. It's social networks like Facebook, you can actually go to forums and try and close some deals and do some conversations there. You can comment on people's blogs. You can also do wikis. Wikis uh, is not very relevant in terms of marketing. Wiki is basically like Wikipedia, where a lot of people can go in and then after that can edit the one same piece of document. So that uh, it becomes a finished project or finished document. Like Wikipedia, a lot of people edit one. Now, the biggest social media naturally is Facebook. Okay. And then remember, when you go and chat with people, there are four kinds of people. Shut up and listen to me. It's a dominant personality. Did I frighten you guys? No. no. Okay, good. Please listen to me. Influential type of people. I knew this would come out like anyway, so never mind. <laughs> okay, steadiness is, I better listen to this guy. Compliance, I'll listen to this guy and I'll die for this guy. All kinds of, some of you are dominant. Some of you are influential. Some of you are steady. Some of you are compliant. Leaders, followers. Leaders, followers. So make note of this, because the moment you talk on the internet, there are four kinds of people. If you know this guy dominant, don't go and fight him, okay? Use the eye, influence him. If you dominant versus dominant, die one. This kind of people like this kind of people, this kind of people like this kind of people. Okay? Okay, huh? So when you're chatting, you also need to feel the personality of this person. You guys understand what I'm saying? Offline is the same, right? You gotta feel people, right? MLM is a people business. It's not a product business. It's a people business. Okay? Now I share with you, there's also a lot of people. You talk to these guys, it's different by talking to these guys. You talk to these guys, it's different from talking to these guys, and this is different. Because baby woman, how do you talk about it? I don't eat it, you eat it. You shut up and you listen to me, you young punk. I have 20 years of experience, you shut up. You should listen to me. But Teng Lo Yan Yin, come on. But do you think that works today? I also, uh, in, my, in my phone, uh, I have a declaration every day. I'm better than older people. I'm better than older people. Okay, because older people today, uh, they have one weakness. Tell me what weakness is that? No. Internet. IT. I am IT illiterate. I'm computer illiterate. But you are young fellas. I'm trying to inspire you guys. Wow, videoing already. Uh. Okay, uh, don't video, don't video. Okay, you want to take picture, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to inspire the younger generation. This is what I do in universities anyway. You are young, you could be here. But what I'm trying to say here is, you have unlimited power because of the internet. You guys understand what I'm saying? I just showed you one method that potentially could change your life, isn't it? Use it. This is your strength and advantage. Use it. You will change your life. You will have more time with your family because you save what time? Ah? Traffic jam, you don't have to go. Go to Hanzo Leong Lap Chong, you know, with your family, you can eat food. Got it, guys? Right? Change the way you do things. Your income will also change. Got it? So now inspired a bit because of that little online method. Okay? Now you have unlimited power. 
go and tell your family that I don't need. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on. So, but if you really study Facebook, you all will be saying, Vincent, uh, Facebook, uh, I've got a lot of young people only. Just now I show you, ma. Uh, I'm talk uh, one, of, one of my guys actually uh, under me in another internet MLM program. He's like 52 years old. He's on Facebook. He just failed in his real estate business. And he's looking for internet uh, programs or MLM programs to actually convert and make uh, separate income. But most older people say, Ah, yeah, Facebook for chai chai loy loy one la. For kids one la. Facebook is for young punks one la. No, do you think so? Do you think so? Okay, right. If I'm trying to change mindsets whenever I do sessions like this. Okay. I'll just show you some cool tool called facebook.com slash advertising. And I'm going to create an ad. Okay. And I'm going to show you how many older people are actually in Facebook in Malaysia right now. There's 13 million of Malaysians on Facebook. Malaysia, 13 million. Now, let's try. Let's try people above 40. Is that okay? Two million of them. Jabeliao ma? Close one percent of them. Mgao sek me? Pio go mgao sek. Who say Facebook only for young punks? Out of 13 million, two million are people above 40. Above 40, your EPF, your savings. It depends on how you chat with them because it's still four things. Still four things. Finance, family, future, and friend. Yes. Facebook.com slash advertising. How to reach one of I just show you, ma. Go and choose people. Then they may want Then message with you. Okay. Uh, low okay. 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 Okay, that is not something which I will teach. Because in the internet, if your picture is fake one, your trust is already broken. Don't do that. I don't encourage you put women picture where people add that, that. Oh yeah, I want to sign up. Can we come out? Then the mong lay low po away. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Be truthful as much as you are in the internet. If you want to see my profile, I can show it to you. I don't I don't I don't try and uh, cut corners one. Okay. You guys okay, huh? So 2.5 million, okay? Uh, but I, I better use another page. Nah, I don't lie to people. This is my family. We don't know what to do. Say this is my third daughter called Vanessa. All my daughters are V1, Vicky, Valerie, Vanessa. Daughters? Daughters. I'm three girls. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. That is my uh, three-year-month, uh, three, three-year-month, <laughs> three-month-old baby. Okay. It's like a lot of fun. It's not going to hurt me. It's still playing, playing. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, people are taking taking picture. But never mind, I'm training her neck. Uh, help her build muscle. Uh, this, this is my daughter. Uh, this is my eldest daughter. I like to take photo. Uh, I also have a photograph, a photo Canon uh, digital SLR. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, I'm saying how young am I? I'm Later, if people find out, like it throw right, be truthful. Normally, with this picture, you know who I attract? Married people. Married people uh, need finance. I close. Uh. You guys getting it? If you put pretty girl, what kind of person you attract? Hamsap low. 
啊，含湿佬啊 ，then you try and close and see， 含湿佬系咪？佢唔会同俾俾钱你嘅，含湿佬系同你上床嘅啫。Correct not wrong targeting right？ You got to target the right people. My picture is a family picture. I know a lot of family needs money. Done deal. You guys understand what I'm saying? Okay. The things you post, do I talk about my internet programs and my stuff here? I don't see. What thing I function with that? Because in the internet, the more sincere you are, the more trustworthy. Because I'm trying to build it to this point without going out. I want trust. I don't want to lie to you. Some of you may be asking, Vincent, you post all these pictures, people kidnap your kid, how? I talk to them already. I talk to my family. Can I post your pictures? Yes, they are okay with this because it's my job. But if you don't feel like posting your picture, don't post it. But don't go and change your own picture to become woman pretty. <laughs> okay, not. Okay, ah. Huh? Don't post. Don't post. Don't post your address, lah. Why you post your address? You post your address, people come and kidnap you, lah. But anyway, I'm targeting overseas people. Why they want to come and kidnap me, man? You guys understand what I'm saying? You can target Malaysians also. Can can obviously you can. You can target anywhere. Facebook is like a global playground, lah. No, you know if you know where to click, ah. You can access anywhere in the world right now. Facebook got one billion users. Let's let's do some statistics. Ah, huh? internetworldstats.com. If you want, you can jot this down. Okay. Well, very fast. The uh, internet here, I like. Huh? Very good. Very good. Now Malaysia got 29 million population, ah, four million, four million. Ten years ago, online. Now, ah, 17 million Malaysians are online, ah, and then ah, out of 17 million, ah, 14 million is in Facebook. That is 60 to 70 percent of our online population in Malaysia, in Facebook. Ah, isn't it like having a handphone, everybody? So if you are tired of prospecting outside, just use, just use this Facebook thing. You will never get tired one. You're tired, you go to sleep, then come back and work again. At home. In, maybe, maybe you are using a laptop, you're sitting there. When you're tired, uh, you do this. I, I teach you. Uh, you're doing, doing, doing. Ay, how cool. Uh. Okay, fun sign to you. You don't have to drive a car. Okay? Right. Okay, so, but uh, I want to highlight one generation to you guys because they are the most in Facebook. If you are, um, the biggest amount of prospects in Facebook is really people who are 90-hour, 80-hour, 90-hour, millennials, generation Y, this guy. If you, I, I want to highlight this part because you, it's easy for you to talk to older people. They will, they are more, what you call, they they they, they think about all this more la. But generation Y ah, sometimes they don't think about these things no. They are rebellious, notorious, naughty, action, arrogant, egoistic, disrespectful. What else? Any more words ah? But misunderstood despite all the negative things there is positive let me explain okay now let's go to facebook and ask facebook hey mr facebook how many of us are actually on facebook above 20 years old below 35 because we are born in that generation Nine million of us around. Nine million of Generation Y. This misunderstood generation. And I want to reiterate again. Some of you baby boomers condemn these people to death already. Like you all are useless one, you are rebellious one. Hmm, take and gong yeah. Okay, let me share with you a story. Uh. One of the dato of a CEO or whatever in some uh, big multinational company, he come and talk to me, hey Vincent, uh, my kid uh, Never wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Man. Why? Ah? I am so successful, you know, making seven figures per year. Ah. Managing this uh, 
oil and gas company. Uh. Okay, are you videoing or taking picture? Okay, take picture can, don't video. Okay, because even I video also, I need to edit some of my bad words. Did I use any bad words so far? No, right? Okay, 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 good, good. Okay, or something which is you know politically inclined, I have to edit out. Lah. Okay, so uh, where was I? He come and talk to me. How are, how are my kid? I'm making um, seven figures a year. And my kid, uh, I don't know how. Uh, don't even have time for me to have breakfast with me. Six o'clock. Back in my olden times when I was his age, oh, I wake up at 5.30. You know? Some of you thinking like that, right? Then I go and talk to the son. Hey, brother, your father tell me he cannot talk to you. Why, why do we have to talk in the morning? Then I ask him, brother, how much money are you making? Seven figures yearly lah. You mean you say you make the same amount with your father? Yes. <laughs> then I said, okay. Then your father needs to learn from you. Eh? <laughs> then I found out, okay. This guy, his clients are in the US and UK. Makes sense for him to sleep late or not? And never wake up in 6 o'clock. No? But the father, because old mindset, thinks the younger ones is useless. I don't like this kind of old people one. Serious. Because you judge people, huh? what Punjo is saying before he died. Unfair, you know. These guys are smart, you know. Okay? But you already saying, I am rebellious one. Ayya, I am not going to die. I am not Why? Okay? At the end, I told them, you have no time for breakfast and lunch, never mind, because both of you are working. Just have dinner together and talk. Lah. 7 o'clock, everybody awake, right? Nobody sleeping, right? <laughs> Eat. Lah. Solve the problem, right? Both of them say make the same amount of money. Why judge each other and say, oh, yeah, my father way wrong, lah, my son way wrong? No, 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 no. Understand the situation first. So if you really want to market to Generation Y, you got to understand their heart. Generation Y, ah, they are very high in ego. You touch them in the wrong places, ah, they will hate you, they will Facebook you. <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying? Okay. So let's, let's study Generation Y, is that okay? Right. So if you really want to manage this, this is not only a marketing course. Ah. You may have sons, daughters, nephews and nieces, which you have misunderstood. Some of them, some of the people who actually come to my workshops or my presentations, they take this next slide and apply it back to their life. And now they are talking more with their sons and daughters. Some of you cannot talk to your sons and daughters really. Some of you are actually telling my nephew useless, my niece new useless. Why put the color pink color on the hair? Some of you cannot. Okay? But hopefully, this is not only a marketing course. I'm trying to expand it to your family because ultimately we need family, right? You cannot talk to your son, you make a million bucks or so, no point one, I tell you. Okay? Now. If you give me a job, sir, don't sit behind my PC and tell me where to click. Because I want freedom when I do my job. Don't micromanage me and tell me you can do this better than me. And sir, when you give me a laptop, what is wrong if I change the wallpaper to a Ferrari and a hot chick? I don't want your corporate company logo in my wallpaper because my, ma, my one, ma, I like to customize ma. When you give me company car, I just put skirting, decals, and then put in V6 injection, change your engine from a kanchil to a super kanchil only, cannot me? I like to personalize ma. When you give me company handphone, I put another cover pink color one. Nice me. I know I'm a guy, but what's wrong with that? You guys didn't get it, huh? Never mind, it's okay. Lousy joke. Okay, right. <laughs> that's not pink, that's purple. That's like really light purple, so it's okay. Okay, right. Okay. Doesn't really matter, actually. Okay. Then, uh, sir, you say, uh, I didn't turn up for your job interview. You didn't, I didn't turn up for your job interview. 
But I Google you, ah, you got three prostitute girlfriends. Why should I work for this kind of CEO? I like to scrutinize. They can Google you up, and if they find out you are wrong on some blog, sorry lah, they won't turn up and even want to see you. Like the politicians in certain countries, you should know. Didn't get it, never mind. Okay? Now, sir, you ask me to do this job, I do. You do. You don't question anymore. You shut up and listen to me. You are not open. You shut up and just do your job. Lah. Not open. Not friendly. Okay? Then, well, sir, if I work in your company, oh, no YouTube and Facebook in your internet. Oh, nah. How to survive? <laughs> because YouTube and Facebook is my life. It's like your oxygen that goes into your nose. If you don't give oxygen to me, I cannot work for you. Anyway, even sir, if you ban internet or I got 3G on my phone, mobile broadband. So it's okay whether you ban or not. But if you ban, then you're uncool. Uncool, why should I work in such a company sitting 9 to 5 in front of a PC who cannot get online? You guys getting this? Yes. Some of you young people are identifying with me, right? Because I'm a Gen Y X, I think X Y. I'm born in 1978, but I'm somehow trapped in the Gen Y more than X lah. Okay? Now, and then uh, if you don't have Facebook or oh, you ask me to do joint venture or oh, all oh, my friend, another company one in Facebook, I don't have Facebook, how to do joint venture? Collaboration and relationship. And then, sir, the other day, the uncle uh, came into your room, oh, Mr. Boss, that senior manager uh, actually uh, took, took 14 days to create this 10 page proposal. Uh. 14 days! Hello, uh. eh? You give me 14 minutes only. I will go to the internet and then I'll find 10 Keng Chao proposal. And then after that, in like my college assignment last time, I will mesh it together. Then after that, I pass up to you. Better one in 14 minutes. Then you can fire that uncle and promote me. You guys getting this? Yes. Okay. They are a generation of speed and they can innovate. This is the Generation Y Bible. You mess with them in any of these points, you will lose them. Whether you are selling MLM or managing a corporate company. You guys getting this? Okay? So I always, when I consult corporate clients, I say, don't control Generation Y. Understand them and harness their strength. Embrace them as a big brother, not like a father, father, father. Telling them what to do, telling them what to do, commanding them don't. It's different. This is what we call the friend generation, not the commanding generation. Still okay, guys? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm not too sure whether I hit some notes or not. Some of you better go back and talk to your kids. Your sons and your daughters who always online one. Hey, yeah, online again. You know, my son and daughter I like to waste time one. Now you go back there and then teach them how to use Facebook to actually talk to New York people and close MLM. Okay now. <laughs> ah, say, hey, chai chai, hoi kamu yong ge. Can use Facebook like that one. Can make money one. Now nah, I teach you, daddy teach you, mommy teach you. The moment you sit down together side by side, doing Facebook conversations and internet conversations together, doing internet conversations together. Your relationship with your kids will be. That's what you want, isn't it? Unity in the family. You make money for what? For your kids, for your family, you need what? Huh? For you to spend, fly around, and then after that, die. Like that. No, ma, you make it for your kids. But why not start it already? Do Facebook conversations or internet, con do internet conversations together with your kids. You are in their turf, you know. In their territory of Facebook. They will love you. Oh, Papa, ah, know how to Facebook one. Oh. I respect him more now. Last time, I always say, I'm IT illiterate one. Lah. I'm computers, not savvy one. Lah. The more guy can, eh? the more respect. Leh. Correct or not? Yes? So now use that and say, Papa know a method. Mommy know a method. 
let's explore together, let's work together. I'm not telling you what to do, let's work together. Okay, let me just share with you, digress a bit. Huh? My daughter is four years old. Okay? Hopefully it works. Huh? Everybody connected to the internet here, is it? No? Huh? Yes, huh? I say, man. Then you are slowing my internet down. Okay. Okay, let's hopefully this thing works. Right, she's only four. But I don't plan to send her to any school. Only after uh, ABC and 1, 2, 3 and mathematics. Uh, this year I sent her to the school to learn ABC 1, 2, 3. If she's good already, no more school. Do you know all the richest people in the world don't go to school? Why send to school? Let all these other teachers, uh, you should be doctor, you should be lawyer, you should be engineer. No, you should be MLM. <laughs> right? You should sell us nasi lemak at a very young age and know how hard it is to sell things. Learn how to talk to people at a very young age until you're not scared of people. That's how we should be training our kids nowadays. You think like your father, mother sent you to school, at the end you got a certificate, right? Degree, right? Then what happens to you? Broke law? That's what happened to me. I got masters in IT there. What happened? Wow, very good. Salary maximum five thousand. Maximum. <coughs> Work ah, uh, nine to nine. No time for family. Quit my job. Come and do business. At yeah, twenty six. Twenty six is already late, you know. Why can't I? I, I got a US friend ah. Uh. He's got a uh, two kids, eight years old and nine years old ah, uh, trading US. Talk exchange, making money. I've got another friend in UK, 15 and 16 years of age, the kid, selling eBay Pokemon cards, making a lot of money. What are you teaching your kids today? Go to school, study hard, get a degree, get broke. <laughs> Save that money, 100,000, 200,000 from education. Let them manage the money and then after that, uh, start a business. Let them fail a bit. Correct or not? Why go and send 100,000, 200,000, they all enjoy, enjoy, and then come back, huh? become small bread. Ask you another 100, 200,000 some more. Correct or not? That's the reality, isn't it? I'm not kidding here. Huh? It's, it's real. It's real. That's what is happening in this world now. Yes. You ask around like, all your. Papa, Mama, last time no time for you. Ah, now I'll give you a lot of money to spend. Ah. Ah, you spend, spend, spend until you don't know how to find. They're, they're, they're guilty, ma, making a lot of money, no time for the kids. Ma. So what happens? They give money. When they give money, the kids become small. Wow. 18 years, 17 years old already got at least a MyV. Already. Can drive around without a uh, car loan already. Daddy, Mommy, pay for me one this car. Or allowance, oh, go to college. Oh. Daddy, Mommy, pay one. Or when they die, I inherit his EPF. Correct or not? Okay, let's move on. Huh? You guys get what I'm saying, right? Am I, am I saying some alien talk here? It's, it's real, right, guys? It's real, right? Okay, so you, you got to not understand these guys. And when you understand them, you can train them. I train Generation Y entrepreneurs. I like young people who is in MLM, real estate, insurance, or business. Recently, I just trained one guy. He finished his law. Vincent, the, the correct way to do law is after I finish my chambering, or what happened uh, is I, wait, I work 15 years in the, in the comp, uh, lawyer firm, uh, then I become partner. I say 15 years. Uh, how much are uh, your salary? 3,000 per month. Wow, 15 years after that, only become partner. In, in, in our internet age, uh, one year in real world uh, is actually seven years in the internet age, you know. He's saying 15 times seven years, you know. It's like one lifetime, man. You guys understand what I'm saying? I said, brother, you're my church friend. 
I do you a favor. Every lunch time from now, I'm going to actually eat with you. I'll come to your office and I'll eat with you. I'll bring you out and I'll show you what is sales all about. Now, the moment he quit uh, his chambering, uh, after I hang out with him three months, what happens is he started his law firm at 25 years old. Finished law at 24. Internship two years, my chambering. Now, uh, he's closing land deals, 40 million US dollars kind of thing. He's the legal guy. Legal guy, I don't know, 40 million ringgit, sorry. Legal services, I think it's about 0.5 to 1% of 40 million. How much? Uh? You calculate. Uh? 40,000. Uh? 40, 400,000. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He said after 15 years, he want to become partner. Uh? Now, uh, he instantly can go out there and close deal and then after that make, I don't know, how many, how many hundred thousand there. That's not the only deal he's closing. Uh. You guys get what I'm saying or not? Entrepreneurship and having the business mentality should start very early in life. Not late. Very, 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 very early. If you can, uh, if you have kids three year old, uh, teach them the word. The first thing, don't teach them daddy, mommy. Teach them money. <laughs> mommy, money. Very close. Say, try the money first. Okay? You're not being money minded. You are, you are helping them uh, so that after you die, uh, they can survive, you know. You guys get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not a very emotional in terms of uh, this survival thing. You throw them in the jungle, uh, they need to survive means they need to survive. You cannot say, oh, yeah, I cannot survive, uh, the tiger will eat. Uh. <laughs> cannot already. This world, so many tigers. Eh. You cannot protect them until you die, correct? No? After you die, already, nobody protect. Ma. Okay? Come, let's move on. So, would you sell MLM to this guy? Wearing slippers, jeans, one. Ah, yeah, these guys are mo chin Would you sell MLM opportunities to this guy? Yes? No? Yes? yes. How many of you say yes? yes? Do you know how to sell to them? Wearing slippers, one. Ah, yeah, this guy is mo chin my neighbor. Look some makeup, nam nam. Some balok some makeup, nam nam. That's a real question, isn't it? He's the founder of Facebook. He got two billion bucks in his pocket. 360 US dollars is nothing. Get it? Yeah. What I'm trying to say is Generation Y to Yao Loi. Generation Y also know how to make money. Generation Y also can inherit money to buy into any MLM opportunity. Do not say Mo Yongge. These guys are useless one. I won't target these people. These guys are all rebellious. Useless, egoistic, young punks. No. The moment you switch off, uh, that's it. Uh, you lost him all uh, 2 billion bucks on him. Uh. Everything. If you think abundant, abundance will come to you. If you think you are dead in one side, then dead. Uh, all dead. Uh, everything close. Uh. Okay? Learn something there? Even with yeah. this one simple slide? Yeah. He's the founder of it. I think 5 billion bucks. Not really 2 billion. 5 billion US dollars. Right? 5 billion, right? Okay. More than that, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many billion. Okay. I mentioned to you guys how many Malaysians are on Facebook. I, I did. I did that. Uh, it's about 13 million. And you, you know, if you want to close somebody, you can actually start with. Okay. Six degrees of separation means this. Okay. I know somebody who knows 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 Obama. You guys getting the point here? Yeah. It's called the six degrees of separation connection. Somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody will know somebody whom you need. And this guy may know God. Lah. Okay, good. Lah. Cool. You know God. Lah. Settle. Everything settle. Miracle. Okay? What I'm trying to say is Facebook is built on the concept of six degrees of separation. If I can talk to a young punk who appears useless, his father could be a dato to some multinational company. Never judge. Never judge. Like I show you, ma, just, uh, just now the guy wearing slippers, you think he's useless? Not really. Only the founder of Facebook, 5 billion bucks. So if Facebook is built on 6 degrees of separation, why are we not using it effectively? Why are we showering and shampooing and gel and makeup? Okay? Right. And this one is important. I'm just. This, these are all um, interesting stuff uh, for you. Okay. 
Remember this social technographics, guys? Internet users? My father-in-law doesn't have a handphone. Crazy for this generation, right? At least have a handphone, lah, but he don't have one. And then uh, he goes to fishing every two months. Then my mother-in-law uh, will pray very hard. Because during fishing, uh, you don't know whether he will come back or not. That's supposed to be a joke, but never mind, uh, you guys didn't get it. Huh? Got it, huh? Okay, thanks. I want to feel encouraged a bit. Uh, it's scary, lah, you guys. Okay? Inactives. Inactives are people who don't really care about technology. The only thing they have is TV. And Astro, lah, maximum. But they're not connected in any way. One. Mobile phone also don't have. Internet also don't have. Facebook also don't have. Email also don't have. Very good. Lah. This, I should edit this. Lah. My father-in-law will kill me. <laughs> no, lah, normally, I don't edit. Lah, because he don't, he don't go online. Lah. <laughs> he don't go to YouTube. Lah. <laughs> okay? Spectators are people, wow, go to Facebook. Wow, ooh, wow very cool. Lah. Facebook, very cool. Lah. Black, uh, blue, and white. Okay. Lah. Never sign up. Spectators. Join us. Ah. Oh, Facebook. Ah. I got. Mo Yao. I got. But where's my password? Ah? <laughs> oh, with my daughter. With my daughter. Okay. Collectors. Oh, yeah, I just download. Lah. White paper. E-book. Just download, download, download. And just understand. And just read. Lah. Download. Lah. And then sometimes they torrent. Oh. Young people should know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they, I don't know, uh, get some very illegal movies to watch. Because you are a collector, you are not a critic or a creator. Because when you download, in some ways, pirated movies, you cannot share it again, right? If not, you go to jail, right? Never mind, you guys didn't get the joke. Never mind. It's okay. So those collectors are people who just suck in content from the internet. Critics are people who say, hey, your, se your, your, your dress very sexy. La. Hey, your baby very cute. Hey, uh, the other day, your event, uh, I saw you. Eh. Critics are people who talk about other people's things. Doesn't mean it's bad. Uh. Critic means they just like to talk about other people. Sometimes negative, sometimes positive. I'm sure some of you have done that before. Yes? Well, like, a, like, a, like a some whole length. Uh. Okay. Oh, the other day, uh, this politician said this, this, this. Okay, that's critics. Creators are people who start original content. They post original ideas, like a YouTube channel, a video, or actually a status update. Today, I think I want to make this quote. If you make money more than yourself, eh, doesn't make doesn't sound right. Okay, if you make money more than your father, then you're on the right track. That is some original quote, lah. Let's say, huh? that in itself makes you a creator. So where are you? Are you an inactive, like my father-in-law? Are you a spectator who never joined Facebook? Or do you have you joined Facebook but you forgot your username and password? Or your IT illiterate? Or you just know how to consume and suck in all the content from internet but never, never really learn how to communicate with people on the internet? Where are you? If you are a critic and creator, you can close sales off online. If you are a collector, joiner, spectator, inactive, you cannot close sales online. Make sense? So where are you? Figure that, that one out. Okay? So, um, but let me extend that and help you guys a bit. If you are here, you say, Aya, Vincent, I want to, la, but I don't know how to use the internet. La. You got sons, daughters, nephews, and nieces to teach you or not? Can you sit down and be friends with them and ask them, Daddy humble ah, now ah, that they want to learn? Don't always say, I'm father, ah, you should listen to me. <laughs> you guys getting this? You got kids or not? Yes. You got nephew or not? You got nieces or not? Can learn from them or not? If not, learn from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> okay? Right? Let's move on. Right. How credible are you online in terms of your MLM topic positioning? Okay, let me just show you a page and then I'm just going to try and illustrate that one point by just using a screenshot.
You guys okay? Yeah. Still okay? Huh? Can I hear like everybody weak already? My sound is going going already. Need some uh, Qatar simulator. Okay. This is my fan page. Today I have fourteen thousand followers. What does it mean to you, Angelina? Angeline. When you see fourteen thousand, now I'm not showing this fan page to action, action or arrogant. When you see somebody has fourteen thousand, automatically, what does it translate for you? Fourteen thousand people following this sincere online trainer. What does that mean to you? Don't know. Okay, lah. Never mind, sir. What do you? What does it mean? Success. Credibility. Trustable. Do you have one? Do you plan to have one? Yes. You should. You guys understand what I'm saying? Normally, when I send out this fan page, I got fourteen thousand fans. Uh, check it out. Normally, my sales were just close. Getting it? Yeah. It's an online asset for <coughs> offline negotiation. Let me just say it one more time. You got to have an online asset that helps you in your offline negotiation to close the deal. Yeah. Build one. Okay. I built it for three years. It doesn't really matter whether you want to start or not. That's all. You can start from zero now. So who cares? But at least you got one. At least you got that asset. But if you say, oh, yeah, I don't lie. I don't have credibility. Now we'll start how? Cannot lie. You guys getting this? Sounds still okay. Huh? Check. Wow, people are going to toilet already. I still want to go to toilet. Okay. Uh, you guys, you guys need a five minute break, or you want me to go on and just finish earlier? Go on, huh? because everybody start going to toilet. Huh? It's gonna be messy, right? Okay. Right. So, do you have an online asset that positions you? As somebody people want to follow. If not, today, figure out how to build one. Is that okay? You got to build your online credibility so that people can actually come to this point so that you can close. You could close this offline. Doesn't really matter if you're closing Malaysians. But if you actually target overseas, uh, you can close the entire sales purely online with your suspenders. Understand what I'm saying? Because if you try and close Malaysians, they want, it's okay. If you try and close Malaysians, they want to see you on. Malaysians are kamyong. They like to feel, touch, and trust. No touch, no trust. <laughs> but if you try, uh, ang mo, uh, they say, hey, yeah, I trust you. How much is it? 360 US dollars? Yeah, sure, why not? It's just like 5% uh, of my income. But 360 US dollars for Malaysian? Wow, it's like Ching Kao. Getting this? Either you target rich Malaysians or you target foreigners. It's easier to close at 360 US. Depends on your product, right? If you are selling an 80 ringgit stuff, like a, a, a MLM company I know, which you guys should know, 80 ringgit is who? Uh? It's very easy to close, right? But if you're targeting 360 US dollars, you, you gotta think about his disposable income. How much? Wow, it's like 1000 US. He's got 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 got to take care of them first. You see, when you talk, you got to understand the person. Once you understand the person, you say, okay, this one cannot close, never mind, move on. You keep going to the next and the next and the next and the next, and the next until you say, oh, this guy, Dato. Makes 50,000 per month. Ah, yeah. Can open seven accounts straight. Like somebody I know. <laughs> okay. You guys getting this? Yeah. Targeting your client is very important. Don't go and talk to Tom, Dick, and Harry. Okay. You want to, you want to be successful, you got to target certain people. You got to feel people so well that you can close. Okay, so far okay, guys, can I move on?
think anyone want to go toilet? Hey, you all can go, uh, but not all together go. Uh. One by one. Uh. Anyway, got two only uh, in the room. Okay? Okay. You guys okay or not? Wow, we're tired, uh, Angelina. Sorry, uh. Sorry, I disturbed your afternoon nap. Uh. Okay? <laughs> so we are in what we call as the knowledge and information economy. We are no more in the touch and feel economy. No more. If you are from here, you like to touch and feel one. You, if I put my credit card online, uh, after that people hack my credit card, then I never get my goods, how? If I click this, uh, my hard disk explode, how? Okay, but the generation one is that, I am like, everything can buy online, one, uh, yeah, credit card more than hack. Eh. So it's, it's a matter of mindset now, whether you want to break through or not. Can you break through the mindset that says, I can close MLM deals purely online? Can or not? Okay, for those who say can, later we have a separate session. For those who didn't say yes, good luck, you will fail. No, I'm just kidding. Okay? You are think, you are think. I'm just trying to inspire you guys, okay? Yeah. Right. So you got to build something called what we call social currency. Social currency means, can people find you on Facebook? Ah? It's a social network. Do you have some currency there, some credibility there? Hey, and What kind of currency you have? Negative currency, law. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. So social currency is really about online credibility. Your online presence, how strong are you? There's what we call there's something called social media sphere influence manage, uh, measurement. You can measure somebody how influenced they are online or not. They have some mechanics and formula that calculates. The other day I I don't even know this. Some of the guys, some youth entrepreneurs say, Hey Vincent, do you know that everybody every day somebody searches your name on social media? I said, How do you get it? There, you use this tool, you plug in your name and then the keyword which you are in the, in the industry and see how many people search for your word. I said, yes, uh, today uh, I also don't know how to do it. Because uh, I said, you teach me, uh, I said, uh, never mind when I free, uh, but he tell me. So how influential are you online? <coughs> you guys getting this? Do you have online credibility to help you close offline sales? Are you a leader? just by looking at your profile or your fan page. If you are not, it's like, oh, this guy uh, never wear shirt one. See, uh, at least uh, my profile, uh, I, got, I, got, I got picture of, not this one, uh, this one, I'm talking about this one. Forget about this fan page. Because when people see my first thing on my Facebook, what, what do they really see? Okay. What am I trying to do here? Okay, what are you all Don't look like me, right? Okay, uh, I get that a lot now. So it's okay. I cannot click one. How come? Okay, so, but this picture look credible, not sing sok mo. Wan song mo. Okay. Uh, yeah, my, yeah, my, 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 So, this guy won't run away with my money. He looks mature. Not necessarily handsome, but mature. I can trust this guy. The face, it's called Facebook. <laughs> Not logo book. Don't put MLM product here, buy now. <laughs> buy now from me, now. I'm from this MLM company. No, 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 no. You guys getting this? Yeah. And then when you actually share on your profile, okay, right. Now, 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 now you guys, actually using this video, I'm selling something you guys know, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, there's nextidea.my. I run a workshop kind of thing like every month, okay? But I use my daughter, law. cute ma. If I say, if, I, if I'm the one saying, entrepreneur make money online, do you think people just want to? <laughs> social, come on, social marketing, you, you got to touch human beings, feelings, emotions. As in any business, don't go for the product first, go for the emotions, the person, the needs, the friends, family, finance, and future. Got it, guys? Everybody has those needs. Cannot run one unless they are in jail. Lah. Okay? Even in jail, so you can close one uh, MLM if you really think about it. Okay? Right, now mind, let's, let's go on. Okay? So, how you got to build your credibility online. Okay? You got to build your credibility online. Okay? Um, what else? Marketing is not spamming. Don't every day po uh, post. I make money, this is how much I make, buy from me. A lot of people do that oh, in Facebook. 
click here because uh, this link uh, will make you financial freedom buy now 360 US dollar don't care what it is just buy because uh, after buy you make money click here and then you're sharing it on your profile you know your Facebook profile is like hey this guy always talk about money huh? I cannot trust this guy if you look at my profile I share pictures only and some videos family based so people can trust me so that I don't spam people with my profile you guys understand okay where was I so the new way of marketing is actually attention, like, trust, and buy. The old way of marketing is this. Advertise, wait for returns, high cost. TV, radio, newspaper. Hi, my name is Vincent Chang. Buy. Okay? That's the old way. Because Today cannot. You do this, what happens? People hate you. In Facebook, unlike this advertisement. Unlike this advertisement. I don't like this. X, X, X. Let me show you. Okay? Let me show you. Okay? I don't like this. X this. I don't like this. X this. Sexually explicit. No, I'm just kidding. There's other, okay? Okay, cannot see, huh? Command plus plus plus. Can see? No? Can see? Okay, oh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, come. You guys can see this? No, I, I don't like this ad. Okay. Ah, uh, other, okay. Don't like. Okay, okay. This one, in queue. Entrepreneurs fully, I uh, don't want office space. I don't like. The more times people do, I don't like. You know what happens to your ad? Never show up in Facebook. Facebook has a mechanism to tell this ad a lot of people hate. Better don't promote anymore. Last time, can I? Uh, newspaper. Oh, yeah, I don't like this ad. Uh, cut. <laughs> Cannot, ma? Correct, not. Okay? You guys understand a little bit more now about Facebook? Okay? Right, okay. So, uh, where was I? Bear with me for a while, huh? So, I'm going to take the full time, lah. You, you all were late, lah. Not me, ah. You all were late, lah. Okay? So, I'm going to take until 6 o'clock. I, I actually plan to finish at 5.30, but for you all who are hungry, ah, stay hungry. Okay? Okay? Okay, so today is really about uh, attention, light, trust, and buy. It's two-way communication. You've got to feel the person before you sell him something. You guys got what I'm saying? Okay, so these are uh, the lead generation channels. Obviously, I just showed you one today. Okay? I just only showed you one. There are many other ways to do it. Different ways to do it. Okay? I'm not too sure whether I can promote my course or not. Okay? I, I have one happening next week. Can I, please? Uh, okay, I have, I have one happening next week. If you guys want the full two-day course, uh, after, t uh, if you you don't feel enough today, you can actually go to nextidea.my, okay? It's like the cheapest, most cheapo internet marketing Facebook workshop seminar in the world. It's only like 500 bucks for two days. If you sign up with other gurus, it's like 3,000 ringgit. Okay? Now, you can actually check this out, okay? Let me show you, okay? Ignore this clown here. You see his hair is like flying or something. <laughs> okay? Now, I'm just... Okay, um... Now, I just, just want to show you, uh, this used to be my timetable because my kid just started school today, uh, this, this year, so I had to change it to 7.30 in the morning. Okay, wake up and brush my teeth and have breakfast. 10 o'clock, I normally wake up. 11, 10.30, I pray to God. Uh. Pray until you get boring. I say, Vincent, I am very bored with your prayer. Please get out of my room. Okay, after that, uh, 11 o'clock, I walk over to my home office and work. Then I log into payment transactions and check like, how much money I make through online and offline programs. Then actually, Facebook chat already. Two hours. Okay. Do some online marketing uh, around, uh, sorry, one hour. Then after that, I, I bathe my kid because 12 o'clock they wake up. Normally, uh, 2, 3 o'clock only they sleep. Uh, so they wake up at 12 o'clock. Okay. My wife wake up together with them because she's the one who jaga more, most of them. Uh. Every hour have to jaga and milk, give them milk. 12.30, I cook at home or go out lunch with my family. 2 o'clock, I go over to my parents' place and then shopping. Okay? But if I want to, I can meet business partners. Normally, my business, e even if I really want to meet people, which is important to close offline deals, I meet them between 2 to 4 because 5 o'clock is traffic jam. You guys didn't get a joke. <laughs> okay? By 4 o'clock, I die die must be home. One. So you call me, I won't come on. Because 6 o'clock, I will cook together with my wife or go out and makan. Okay? 8.30, Astro on demand. Okay, 
我中意睇 TVB 劇集，如果唔係我嘅啊咩啊，我啲廣東話進步唔到。OK， I should watch Taiwanese movies or to increase my Mandarin. OK， maybe I should subscribe to that. 10:20 normally I'll be home after coming from my in-laws place or my family's place. 11 o'clock I'm in bed already. OK， my course is called Freedom Entrepreneurship Leveraging Online Technologies. By leveraging online technologies, you can be free. I don't care how much money you're making, whatever level you are. If you're running around having no time, you're still not free. You guys understand what I'm saying? The measure of success to me is not how much money actually. I could be making less money than you, but my measurement of success is family first. Okay. Not a billion bucks, not some title. It's freedom, at my own rules. At my own time, that is total success. You guys understand what I'm saying? So, these are lead generation channels. Facebook is only one of the many channels. You can actually use many, many other channels: mobile, offline, of course, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google, okay, and Facebook. Right. So, basically, uh, I can't go through all this note with you guys. So, in short. Any business needs to have this online, okay? But forget about the big diagram. I'm just going to actually summarize everything, okay? Forget about the diagram. This is very confusing, okay? Okay. Let me just summarize the entire thing. Do I actually have a white slide? Okay. Let me just new slide and just new slide. Okay. Just give me a second, guys. And I'll end with this last thing, okay? Copy this down. I'll leave this with you so that you guys can actually do something about it. In all business, you always have to generate leads. Then you need to figure out how to convert those leads. Then only you get number of customers. Correct. What I mean by that is, let me just give me five more minutes, guys. That's the amount of time I have, right? Three more minutes. Okay. Sounds still okay, man. Testing. Okay. You could use offline to actually prospect. You could use the telephone to prospect. This is actually prospecting. You could use Facebook. You could use LinkedIn. You could use magazines. You could use newspaper. Really, doesn't matter. But do you have testimonials? Do you have credibility? Do you have a blog that shows that you are a travel expert? Do you have a fan page that shows your credibility so that you can increase your conversion rate? Now, let me ask you: If you have one hundred prospects, if you have one hundred prospects. If you convert at one percent, how many clients do you have? One percent of hundred, one. If you prospect one thousand, how many customers do you have? But can you prospect one thousand? Yes, using the internet. Do you want to? Yes, obviously. But what if I can also say you can convert at two percent? Isn't that better? Then you get twenty. Fan page just now help in conversion. You guys understand what I'm trying to say here? If you cannot search for me online, do you trust me? No, you won't trust me, right? Because you are nobody. But if I can search for you online, I will trust you. Yes. So build your online social currency, build your fan pages, build your blogs, and show that you are some expert and some leader. So people trust you and give business to you, because the social currency will translate to physical ringgit and cash currency. Build your online currency; your physical currency will take care of itself. One more time, if you haven't jotted that down, build your online currency; your physical currency will take care of itself. 
Cool, guys? Can I move on and finish up? Okay. In any business, right? In any business, you can actually increase number of transactions. I did all this. I actually learned from uh, books and uh, researching and attending some other workshops and business workshops. Okay. Number of transactions. After these twenty people buy already, can you sell them other things? Can you upsell them something? Can or not? When you upsell them, do you make more average dollar sale? When you sell more, do you actually increase your revenue and your sales? Yes. From here, okay? If you sell online and do online conversations using Facebook and you don't need to make up, make up, no need to mandi mandi, no need to take your bath, and no need to pay petrol and toll, would you decrease your cost and increase your profit margin, yes or no? Yes. Okay? So ultimately, what happens? You get ultimate freedom income. This is a business formula. Okay? This is a business formula. Jot down already? I'm going to put them now. Because I have to show one more slide and then we can go. Is that okay? Yes, Everybody jot it down? Need more time? If not, take out a handphone and then take picture. Your, off, your physical currency will take care of itself. Your physical currency means your money in the bank will take care of itself. True, right? When you have credibility and trust, people want to buy from you. And if you have online credibility, people want to buy from you online. Does it take care of your Maybank account? CIMB bank account? Public bank account? HSBC? Citibank? I don't know. 